Clearview AI co-founder and co-executive, his name is Wonton Tat, showed our Errol Barnett just how easy it is to find images of him. This is In the Spotlight. It's about people on this planet that has captured the attention of vloggers like me. Listen and learn more about your concerns on In the Spotlight. The cutting edge software can identify people by comparing their pictures to billions of images Clearview has scraped from the social media and the internet. Errol Barnett is here in the studio with more on this. Good morning, Errol. I'm very fascinated to hear what you got to say. Yeah, listen up to this. Good morning, everyone. Clearview AI CEO says he wants you to trust him. He's trying to gain the public's trust here. The 31-year-old says his company's facial recognition technology is only available to law enforcement and is to be used to identify potential criminals. But there are serious questions about whether his software is too invasive. Right now we have, you know, billions and billions of images from millions of different websites all across the open internet. This is what Clearview AI's database would look like to law enforcement, says founder Wonton Tat, if, for example, they were searching for me. I mean, I've got to say it's slightly unnerving seeing someone able to scroll through so many images of my face. But you have to remember that this is only used for investigations after the fact. This is not a 24-7 surveillance system. Tontat says his artificial intelligence program can identify someone from an image in seconds. It matches faces of unknown people to their online photos and the sites the images originally came from. The results, he says, are 99.6% accurate. Would you like to have a try? Sure. Let's see. When we tried out the company's phone app, even covering half my face, it still worked on the first try. There you but there go. we go. Tontat says Clearview has three billion images in its database sourced from millions of websites and social media platforms in a method known as scraping. Wired Editor-in-Chief Nick Thompson says facial recognition raises sobering moral and ethical questions. In order to build it, you have to scrape a lot of public information in ways that may be legal, but that certainly goes against the terms of service of companies like Facebook and Twitter. Secondly, this is really creepy. And the big companies who have the data already haven't wanted to do it. YouTube, Facebook, Venmo, and Twitter told CBS News scraping is against their policies. Last night, Google and YouTube sent Clearview a cease and desist letter, and this comes weeks after Twitter did the same, demanding Clearview stop scraping pictures from their platform and delete any data taken. Are you aiming to comply with Twitter? Our legal counsel has reached out to them and are handling it accordingly. But there is also a First Amendment right to public information. So the way we have built our system is to only take publicly available information and index it that way. And you believe you have a First Amendment right Completely. to access what's on yes. the platform? Clearview says more than 600 law enforcement agencies across the country use this software, but wouldn't say how many are free trial subscriptions. New Jersey Attorney General Gabir Graywall recently ordered state law enforcement agencies to temporarily stop using this technology until they learn more. What are your concerns with this technology? I'm not categorically opposed to facial recognition technology. I think used properly, uh, it can help us solve criminal cases uh, more quickly. It could help us apprehend child abusers, domestic terrorists. But what I am opposed to is the wide-scale collection of biometric information uh, and the use of it without proper safeguards by law enforcement. But Tontat argues Clearview AI is essentially a search engine for faces. Google can pull in information from all different websites. So if it's public, you know, and it's out there, and it can be inside Google's search engine, it can be inside ours as well. In a statement to CBS News, Google calls that comparison inaccurate, writing, quote, we give webmasters control over what information from their site is included in our search results, including the option to opt out entirely. This platform is very powerful, but it relies on transparency mm -hmm. for people to trust and believe it yeah and there just isn't much of that available right now well that's why I'm here on TV explaining all these things and that's why we meet with a lot of the people in government Tontat tells CBS News the technology won't be made available to the general public as long as he's running Clearview but Thompson says it may not be so simple so Clearview says you may be worried about our technology but it's just used by police departments to catch terrorists and keep you safe 
But if we know anything from the history of technology and the history of Silicon Valley, it's that the initial intended use is not the only use.